Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to create a virtual machine in Microsoft Azure. All right, just go ahead and go to uh, portal.azure.com. And once you're in here, just click on under services, click on virtual machine. All right. Now, once you're in here, you're going to want to click on create. Okay, click on it and just click on Azure virtual machine and wait for the website to load. Now, once it loads in here under basics, we're going to want to make sure that we select the preferred subscription. All right. If you have multiple subscription right here on Azure, you can go ahead and click on the drop down and select the subscription. Now, once that's done under resource group, click on a drop down and click on your resource group. If you have one now in here under instance details, we're going to name our virtual machine. It could be made for money right here and the region select the closest one. All right. So I'm here in the Philippines. I'm going to select on Asia Pacific or East Asia zone options right here. I'm just going to keep it as is and availability zone zone one. We have up to zone three right here. I'm going to click on this information icon. It says here you can option to specify an availability zone in which to deploy your VM. If you choose to do so, your managed disk and public IP, if you have one, will be created the same availability zone as your virtual machine. I'm just going to leave it to one. Okay. Now security type, it could be a trusted launch virtual machines or standard or confidential virtual machines. I'm just going to leave it as a trusted and the image right here. I'm going to select Windows 11 right here, Windows 11 or Windows 10 Pro. Okay. Since I'm using Windows 11, I'm just going to use Windows 10 Pro just for this example. Now we're going to want to create a username. Okay. Don't forget the username and the password. So let's just type in made for money like that. And a password would be like that and confirm the password. Make a strong password, everybody. Okay. Now in here, public inbound ports, head on allow. Make sure that it is set to allow. Now go ahead and turn on RDP. RDP right here enables remote connection. Now you should enable HTTP as well as this is the default network port used to send and receive unencrypted web pages. All right. If you want to enable HTTPS and SSH, go ahead and do so. All right. Now, once that's done, just going to click on, I confirm I have an eligible Windows 10 11 license with multi-tenant hosting rights. All right. After that, go ahead and hit on next. Now we are working under the disk tab. All right. And here, just scroll down. If you want to encrypt it, go ahead and tick this tick box. If not, just leave it. OS disk size right here to be a image default is 127. All right. You can go ahead and amp it up up to two terabytes. All right. I'm just going to leave it to default as this is just an example. Now, OS disk type right here, premium SSD. We have standard, standard HDD. And under zone redundant storage, we have premium as well. Okay. I'm just going to leave it key management. This is my only option platform managed key. So I'm just going to leave it as is. Now I'm going to hit on next. All right. This one looks good. Next, next review everything. Okay. Advanced right here. Tags then hit on review plus create. Okay. Wait for it to load. And it says here it is currently running final validation. Just wait for it and you'll have a look at the subscription credit supply. You will basically pay the small per hour. All right. Once your virtual machine is running, all right, or up and running, it would be a 0.0146 USD per hour. Yours might be different. All right. Depending on the settings that you've put right here under basics and disk. And moving forward, we're going to want to scroll down and review everything from here. And once you're good with that, just go ahead and click on create. Wait for it to load. All right. And it says here, initializing deployment. It might take some time, maybe one to two minutes. All right. Depending on your computer and the internet and the machine that you are creating. Just wait for it. All right. As you can see here, the deployment is still in progress. Just wait for it. As you can see here, the deployment is done. So what we're going to do next is just go ahead and go to resource, click on it. I'm going to close the notification right here. 
just click on connect hit on connect got it click on connect with RDP if you don't want to connect with RDP you have some more connection options right here all right you can connect with RDP right here as you can see we have the local machine which is Windows IP is right here and what we're going to do is just click on download RDP file. I'm going to save it on my desktop. Okay. Wait for the download to finish. I'm going to minimize this as a browser right here. We have the virtual machine itself. I'm just going to open it up just to show you. All right. Click on don't ask me again. Hit on connect. As you can see here, our username is automatic. Just go ahead and put in the password that you set up on Azure. All right. Hit on remember me so that it won't ask you again. Hit on OK don't ask me again hit on yes wait for it to load and as you can see here it is now preparing our virtual machine just wait for it as you know initial setups may take some time all right and that's basically how you create a virtual machine in microsoft azure well i hope this video helps at all see you in the next one